Our project, second project of iOS development, we'll be working on Hangman, our favorite application. We saw Hangman in unit one. We saw Hangman with command line. This week, we'll see Hangman, the iOS application, right? What does Hangman look like? We have the rules here. We know what Hangman is. We've seen it before. But the project requirement, it's going to be a two-player game. It's going to be a two-player game. Player one, for example, Greg will take the phone or the simulator. He's going to enter an, uh, a word for you to guess, right? Antonio will be handed the phone. Antonio will start guessing what word Greg put in. Everybody with me, right? So it's a two-player game. First player chooses the word. Second player guesses the word, right? So let's actually see how it works. So here we have a two-player game. First player, we have a text field, right? So the first player enters some word into the text field, right? As the user enters that word, we have our dashes. So now, second player sees the dashes, or how many characters that word is. How long is that word? Four, right? So now, Antonio starts to guess what the word is. Antonio uses that second text field here. Antonio is only able to enter one character at a time. One character at a time. So here, he puts in G. He tries to put in all the Gs. It's not allowed. Only one character at a time. And then Antonio is ready. He clicks in return. It's an incorrect character, right? So Antonio starts to get hanged. Antonio tries again. He puts in R. Right? <laughs> Poor Antonio. Uh, Antonio, let's keep trying here. Ugh. Anybody want to pick a character for Antonio? E. e. All right, let's try E. I always say X. X. Okay. I can't even delete now. I'm, I'm already committed. I can't even delete. It doesn't allow me to delete. Right? So I have to press in C. Hey, which happens to be good. All right, so Antonio is still alive here. What's that? No, we did A already. Yeah, we did A already. Well, that's up to you. You could put that in. You could put more UI in there. You? <laughs> Any other characters? A? K? A? K? X? M? Oh. What? <laughs> Semicolon? <laughs> oh. oh. All right, we saved. We saved Antonio, okay? We saved Antonio. <laughs> so that is the game. That is Hangman. That's the basic requirements. If you have time, you could add UI to show the, the user the, the characters that entered already. Everybody with me? Because we have that, we could enter it. But we have a lot to do already here with the text field. This is very heavy with text field. Text field delegate, right, is pretty heavy with that particular project, right? How do you prevent users from entering more characters? How do you prevent the user from deleting a character, right? All those there, right? So again, this is the project, and you could be fancy here with the, um, if you have time, you could add extra bonus here. You could have a one-player game, single-player game, where they have a peak of view. We haven't gone through peak of view yet, but you could... At this point, this is a control, like any other control. You could have a peak of view. You could select like what category that the user wants to play or you want to play, right? That's like the single-player game. You could choose what image you want to use for the hang in there. Again, that's like extra features there, but that's the game. And here we have the requirements. We have a rubric for it. Cool? Any questions? Yeah, I saw each part show up separately. 
How does each part show up separately? It's an image view. You have an image view and you have a bunch of assets in there. And you just change the image view, you update it. No, you just have to change the image view. So my image view, if we go back to the two player game here. Right, so we have one image, that's one image view. It has one image. All right, cool, so you got it, you got it, cool. Any other questions? Any other questions? We good? All right, yes, sir. Very similar. The logic should be very similar to your command line. Whatever you do in command line could go to uh, your iOS app. So you have like a bunch of images or multi-line that you had. It won't be multi-line. It will be like image assets. Right? Cool? Are we good? We know what we're building? It's a fun little project, right? All right, cool.